officers received the call of a person shot at this location. Upon our arrival, we discovered a male victim, possibly in his early 40s, um, on the ground, unresponsive. As he was checked out um, by the medics, by personnel on scene, we cannot confirm exactly how he was um, killed at this time. So right now, we're considering an unclassified death until the coroner makes their ruling about exactly how um, he passed away. So you, you did determine, though, that he was shot? No, sir, we did oh, not determine. Not the call stated that, but when we got here, we found no evidence of such. Okay. So the determination of how he became deceased will be left up to the coroner at this time. Okay. And we were told that there's a possibility there is a plastic bag over this man's head. Was that was there any truth to that? No, sir, we can't confirm that at this time. There are some objects around the body, I mean, but, you know, we can't give out what those are. Sure. Is there any wounds on the suspect? There were wounds. We, what type of wounds, we don't know. Um, we do have a crime scene, so, you know, at this time, we just call it as unclassified until we figure out what's going on. I mean, just got here. Is, is it in the residence over here? Is it in one of the businesses? It's inside of the business. Inside of the business? Inside of the business. Can you tell business that is? It's an um, auto body garage right here. Are they open uh, today? The business open today? I would assume so, but I don't have that definite information right now as to whether they were open for business or not. So we know who called you guys? What did it take for? Someone came in the business and was at the We just got the call. That Someone was shot at this location, and when we arrived, we saw that the person was lying on the ground but could not determine um, their cause of death. So the call was someone was shot, but when you guys got here, you couldn't determine We could not determine that at this time, yes. Normally we can, but this time we can't. Would it make it difficult to determine that at this time, since it's something that you guys could usually do? Just the, the scene itself. Um, you know how certain the things that are present. Um, normally, like I said, we could look and tell, but just how for some reason this time we just can't. Do you know how old the victim is? It's early 40s. And now uh, there were objects around the victim. You can't be specific on what those were, but do, does this lead you to believe that possible su suspicious death? No. So just unclassified? It'll be unclassified, but, you know, we have called all our homicide detectives and we have notified the coroner and we're going to launch an investigation into it to find out what exactly happened to this gentleman. Who, who made the phone call? How did it all start? We don't know who made the phone call, and if we did, um, you know, we wouldn't say this person called the police. We also noticed here an officer on scene, obviously um, connected to what's going on. How difficult is it for officers to have to do a job and still be connected in a way to something as difficult as this? It's the reality that you live with is that one day it just might be somebody you know and love. As we always state that a lot of our officers have family members who live in the city limits of Birmingham, who live in the area of Birmingham. Chief Roper has said that he's lost a brother to homicide years ago. So some, it's a reality that we live with from day to day. It's just something you know, we have to learn to deal with and you know, just hope and pray that it not only doesn't happen to us, but doesn't happen to anybody. A lot of people shaking up here. There's yeah, some crying, some, some people a little bit upset here. Are uh, these uh, possibly family members? Possibly, yes. Well, I haven't determined who they were, or who they are, rather. Okay. Thank you. And once we know the cause of death and all that, we'll let y'all know. All right.